In this video, let's take a look at the new ray trace option for the V-Ray Fast SSS2 shader. Prior to this option, the V-Ray Fast SSS2 rendered a pre-pass to generate an illumination map, and the process looks something like this. Notice as V-Ray calculates the pre-pass. Let's save this image to our frame buffer history and compare with the new ray trace option. So if I go to multiple scattering and I turn on ray trace, let's go ahead and re-render. And we'll save this image into our frame buffer history as well and compare the two results. So if we zoom in and we look at one of the details here, you'll notice that the ray trace adds a lot more detail to the shading of the ear. Now let's add a slightly more complicated texture. Still with our ray trace option and take a look. So the new ray trace subsurface scattering option means higher quality results without the prepass. Thanks for watching and be sure to check out our other V-Ray 3.0 videos.